You're watching Introduction to ID8 Sticky, in which we'll demonstrate the best way to connect your non-BIM data from Excel into Revit. This is Glennis Patterson, Director of Software Development. Welcome and thanks for joining us today. Right now, someone is trying to figure out, how can I connect this code checklist into my Revit project so I can send it to permitting? What's needed is a way to link the file directly into Revit, but what's happening is ugly. The information is most likely already out of date and, worst of all, it's consuming an awful lot of time that could be better spent elsewhere. ID8 Sticky is here to solve this problem by letting you link your Excel file directly into Revit, just like you can with a CAD file. While Revit has a powerful parametric engine to synchronize the building information between the model elements and the schedules that represent those elements, there is no good method to manage all the other kinds of data, that non-BIM data. Examples of this non-BIM data include things like code checklists, design data, consultants data, even general notes, and matrix style data such as document issue records. There are a variety of ways in which Revit users have been struggling to address this problem. There's the screenshot method, but these look unprofessional and without the file linking for images it's time consuming to update these. There's the linked DWG DXF method, but this requires CAD knowledge to simply maintain the text, and the visual quality is inferior. There's also the fake key schedule method, which has limited formatting options and requires irregular usage of the Revit database. Lastly, there's the idea of representing this non-BIM data with lines and text placed on a Revit drafting view. These methods often cause a performance hit on your Revit file and tend to not handle word wrap issues elegantly, as shown. Regardless of your current method for addressing this problem, you'll still need to repeat the cycle should that data need to be updated, which could result in serious amounts of lost time. The great news is that ID8 Sticky manages your non-BIM data by quickly and elegantly linking your Excel file into your Revit model without any messy rework. Let's see how. Let's take on the task of filling out this code compliance worksheet. For each project submitted, this checklist needs to be filled out and included in the drawing set. To prepare the Excel file for use with ID8 Sticky, we'll need to set up a print area and save the file. Next, within Revit, we'll open a sheet upon which to place our Sticky. Now we can create a Sticky that points to this Excel file and then places it on the active sheet. In this example, I'm using one of the out-of-the-box sample files that ships with the product. These are all located under Program Files, ID8, ID8 Sticky, as shown. After identifying the Excel file name, you'll also want to double-check the worksheet name and review the name of the Sticky itself. This is the same name that will display under the list of schedules later. Before we close ID8 Sticky, we have the option to automatically update the Excel file, which is perfect for this task. Now we can close the project and move on to higher level tasks. Meanwhile, our checklist specialist, who is not a fan of Revit, can continue to work inside of Excel to manage this information. Throughout the course of the project, any change made within this Excel file will be automatically populated back into the Revit project. Think of your ID8 Sticky as a linked DWG, which allows non-Revit users to collaborate on the project deliverable. Now, whenever we open our Revit project, ID8 Sticky reloads our auto-updated stickies to ensure they reflect the status of the Excel file. There's no need to waste time doing screen captures or drawing lines or fussing with text. Just use ID8 Sticky to link your Excel file and let the editing be done inside Excel as it was meant to be. With ID8 Sticky, you get a simple solution that gives you the ability to directly collaborate with Excel users without any rework. Imagine the value of being able to take information from a single Excel file and push it into many Revit projects all at once. ID8 Sticky gives you the highest degree of visual fidelity, so what you see is what you get. And as with all ID8 software solutions, you get a top rated network deployment offering and a solution that has been optimized for both performance and quality. So what will use Sticky? Some common usages will include general note and conditions, coordinating data from your consultants, and publishing code checklists or owner requirements. BIM managers will use ID8 Sticky to communicate information to project teams or to the entire Revit community. 
Managing important matrix data, such as document issue records, will also be a huge time saver. Whether you're an engineer, architect, or designer, there are many ways in which ID8 Sticky can reduce your workload and ensure that there is no data lost in transcription. We think you'll find ID8 Sticky very easy to use, but should you need help, rest assured our help file, as with all ID8 software, contains a wealth of information to get you up and running quickly. If you're ready to save your team time and you want to try ID8 Sticky, you can download the trial at id8software.com forward slash download. ID8 Sticky is available for Revit versions 2014 and 2015. Note that the 2014 version will require the latest service pack update. Try our Getting Started Guide to see how easy it is to link Excel files into Revit. ID8 Sticky is available as a standalone or a network license. Our network solution uses FlexLM and takes customers just a few minutes to add to existing licensed services. Ask about our network pricing options for affordable corporate-wide usage. ID8 is an authorized Autodesk developer with over 25 years of experience. Learn more about ID8 Sticky at id8software.com forward slash ID8Sticky.